Okay, if we teleport and go back to the character, we can walk in the lobby again. And here we are. Here's the gate we cannot open because we got chased away by Hoogie Woogie. But now we got both of our rubber hands and we can check what's behind this door. Safely, because I think this guy is gone. Okay, let's see what happens. Here goes the blue hand, here goes the red hand. Ooh. Okay, let's see what's behind this gate. There's actually a stairway. Okay, well that's odd. Can I break my cankles if I fall down? Yeah. Yep, yeah, kinda. Hey everybody, my name is Zertius and welcome back to Poppy Playtime. Today we're gonna be doing a hacking episode and if you don't know what that is, essentially we'll be going places we shouldn't, such as out of bounds, lock rooms, and discovering all the secrets that this game has. So let us hop straight into it. If you guys haven't seen the previous episode where we did a let's play of this game, go check it out. And granted, this episode will have a lot of spoilers, so if you don't want to see that, you know, come back later. So naturally, we're going to start the game from the beginning and see the places we can hack into. Because I think I saw a lot of locked rooms in this game and also places we couldn't go normally. Oof, this cutscene is always broken. What the frick? Anyway, we are in the factory. So what we can do in this game is we can hack the camera and fly around just about anywhere we want. We can take a look at things such as the outside if we want to exit now. You know, now would be a good time to actually go back home, sip on some tea, enjoy television instead of invading this place because this is a death sentence. But, you know, we chose differently. Except in this episode, we're going to play against the rules. So let's see what's outside, right? Here we go. And look at that, it's actually sunny out. We can also teleport, which allows us to take control of the character and, well, walk around. So that will be a lot of fun to do, but... Oh, yep, we fell out. Okay, that's not good. There's nothing to see outside. As you guys saw, it's just a skybox. So we might as well explore what we can inside a factory. I don't want to see if the game is going to break if I teleport behind the locked door and try to progress. Normally in games, if we try to skip ahead, it stop locks us and we cannot progress anymore, but we'll see how this game works, if we can cheese the script a little bit. Okay, we just need to wait for this guy to end and then see if we can grab the backpack. Okay, we can. That's good. We cannot exit. <laughs> We're stuck in here. Okay, can we unlock the door? Seems like we can. Okay, that's good. Nothing broke. Yet, and there is Huggy Wuggy. Our best buddy pal. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Any points of interest that we can check out. The train is always the same though. There's nothing on the shelves. Except a window. Which we cannot see through. And there's nothing in the boxes of... Boogie Woogie. All of these guys are empty for some reason. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying this episode so far, give it a like, subscribe. You might want to stick around if you like this one. Because we're going to hack every single chapter of this game. And uh, as I said... Finding out all the secrets. And this guy has a lot of secrets. I mean, look at his eyes. There are a few locked rooms in this area, such as the Fiator. So we might as well check what's inside. And also testing. I don't think we can go inside of this room in the game. An innovation. So let us take a peek. Is there anything behind the doors of the Fiator? Oh. There is a room. Oh, what if we teleport in? Uh-oh. What happened? I think I kind of broke the game. So apparently if we enter the Theator, something goes completely wrong because the entire shade of the game just breaks on me. Huh. That's weird. Anyway, let's see what's inside the testing room. Nothing that we can see through the doors. And ooh. This one has a light in it. And also breaks if we teleport inside. There seems to be nothing inside of the room though. Hmm. Maybe it was supposed to be used at some point in the game, but the developers decided against it. And then, all we have left is the innovation one. Seems like it's a hallway instead of a room, so... Ooh. Okay. If we teleport in here, nothing breaks, but nothing loads either, so... Just have this... Room of nothingness. This is loaded, though, so let's see what happens. If we take a little peek... Inside of this area. Oh. There's a door to nothingness. And I think we fall into the abyss if... Yep. Yeah. We go inside. Give me a key, you little punk. Come on, give it to me. This time there was a little less resistance. Okay, here we go. What the freak did I just do? Okay, that's been done. Unfortunately, I cannot see how Hoogie disappears because I cannot be at two places at once, so we're gonna have to bear with that for a minute, but I think it's fine. Although it is interesting to see what's inside of these holes that are literally everywhere. 
It was just giant holes. That's all there is to it. Guess who's gone? Well, our best buddy pal. But also, this guy still has the collision thing there. Interesting. Okay, let us try and progress. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be a hand that's gonna slide right into the doorway. So let us take a peek at what that looks like. Oof. Are we gonna see a hoogie? Ooh, we are. And that is literally the most unsettling face we're gonna see all day. Yeesh. Okay, what if we teleport here? What's gonna happen? Ugh. <laughs> this guy's still there. Am I gonna die if I touch him? No. I was bracing for impact. What if we exit? Oh, this guy does nothing. A little weirdo. I do not like him anyway. Okay, I'm gonna try- Frick! Crap, I forgot about this one! I was so tensed up by this guy that I forgot everything else. Okay. I think this guy's gonna stay there. Ugh. Are you still there? Yep, you are. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Love it. This guy's literally still standing there, so that's great. Okay, I had to go back because I forgot one thing. And that was this door. Which we cannot open. It says... Stairway to heck. So, we might as well see what's behind this door. There you go. Ooh. There's actually a stairway. Okay, well that's odd. I have a feeling, as I said, some of these areas were supposed to be explorable, but the developers either cut them out or were supposed to come back in chapter two or something. I don't know. Oh, there isn't even a door from this side. That's weird. Okay, can I break my cankles if I fall down? Yeah. Yep, yeah, kinda. Oh, frick. Okay, it's very dark. I'm gonna try and increase the brightness for you guys in post, but it's kind of like SCP-087. You know, the infinite stairway. Except this one is unlit. Oh, frick. Okay. What the frick? Okay, I fell out. Alright, give me that. Thank you. Let us put that in where it belongs. Is my flashlight broken? I think I'm supposed to have a flashlight, right? Okay, where's the final cell? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's literally that. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, there you go. I'm kind of curious. So those are the vents. Very dark vents, granted. And something happened behind this door. Is there anyone inside? Oh, no. Boosh. There we go. We cannot even. No, we cannot open it. I don't think we're supposed to be here anyway. No, we cannot go inside. Hmm. Very strange. There are these huge circular windows, but I don't think there's anything outside. Yeah, it's just the skybox. Yep. I am keeping an eye out for secret rooms, but if I miss anything, you guys can let me know in the comments below and we can come back to this game at any point. Because I do want to know everything, much like the staircase that was sort of functional. It's going to be a lot of furious on that. Okay, give me the hand. Thank you. So once again, I could hack behind these doors, but the game wouldn't load, so there's no point. Just gonna look out for any locked rooms. Ooh. Okay, let me quickly solve this issue. There you go. Excellent, yo. So it's that a part where we're gonna see the toy making machine. Yeah, might as well have the camera and see what we got. Oof. Just a bunch of containers of these toys. And also a really long hallway. Or a vent. Well, this is great. <laughs> My camera broke. I cannot turn. Oh, that's a major problem. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart. So as we all know, Hoogie Woogie is waiting for us behind this gate. So I'm curious to see if this guy's gonna be standing there right now. Ooh. No. It's actually not gonna load even. Still, we can walk here. Let's see what we got. Oh, frick! No way. Really? Uh, I'm so confused. Oh. What the? What is that? That's so odd. Oh, what the crap? Oh, no way, is this the lobby? Hold up. I think it is. Yeah, I think that's the maintenance room, or whatever it was called. This is where this guy comes. Okay, cool. I got you. I think it's safe to say we broke the game, but who knows? It needs power. Because the music's playing now, so that's great. I still want to find the pink cassette player. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm freaking... Stupid. Never mind. I can still listen to it, though, because why not? There you go. I don't know what the cassette said. So, Didn't read it. What made you want to work at the Playtime Co-Factory? Playing with toys when I was young. 
Oh, what's this one? I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. Right. And being able to work at a toy factory. When you're a kid, you have a wild imagination. Sometimes, though, I really, really wish I could go back to being a kid. I mean, and it's weird because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever. Really kind of, yeah. Like an adult, but your body just gets older. Older, and then you die. True. You kind of make the connection that somebody tried to once again live forever by possessing the toys, which is always a great idea. And also, I hope that's rust, not blood. But then at this point, we're already far too gone. Suffice to say, it's completely dark in here. So we cannot see anything except for this place, which is just a scanner. Yep, the vents are not loading, but also, I hope that the hoogie woogie place is not gonna be broken because that will mean i have soft locked the game i don't have to restart come here you little stinky punk there we go this is quite curious so is this guy waiting for me in the darkness now no i don't know if anything is gonna happen guess we'll see hello oh, there you go okay time to go Ugh, you little creep master okay so let me try something there you go Ugh, the way this guy looks up. He's a little confused. Hi. <laughs> Look at this guy. You little ugly blue little psychopath. Okay, yeah, that's normal. That's great. Are you gonna come this way? You're not. There's one more thing I wanna do. If you guys remember, in the lobby area, there was a door that required both of these hands to function. Now, as we know, the game unloads if we progress, but I think at this stage in the game, the lobby stays. Check this out. Yeah, there it is. Okay, if we teleport and go back to the character, we can walk in the lobby again. And here we are. Here's the gate that we cannot open because we got chased away by Hoogie Woogie. But now we got both of our rubber hands and we can check what's behind this door. Safely, because I think this guy is gone. Okay, let's see what happens. Here goes the blue hand, here goes the red hand. Ooh. Okay, let's see what's behind this gate. Oh. Thank you. Let's load it up. Also, this place doesn't have a hand scanner. It's interesting. Okay, so it seems like the gate does not open, but I think we can hack through it. I hope the game does not explode. Uh, blink. Ooh. There we go. Have we finally discovered the outside? Ooh, okay. So we got some laps, but none of this is loading up. Even though we got our hands scanned. Hmm. That's interesting. Since we got to see the sun, it's beautiful out. Okay, what the freak happened to my hand? Huh, we're good. Yeah, for some reason, kids stuck there. That's funny. All right, let's try this. If we fall down, we can do a little bungee jump, but that's pretty much it. Whoa, that's odd. Well, we'll fall down. 